During his most recent catechesis on baptism, Pope Francis referenced the Japanese Catholics under persecution in the 17th century. Non è rimasto in Giappone nessun prete. Tutti sono stati espulsi. Allora, la comunità si ritirò nella clandestinità, conservando la fede e la preghiera nel nascondimento. One of the Japanese Catholics that suffered most from outlawing Christianity was Ukon Takayama, the Samurai of Christ. The Japanese Episcopal Conference has presented all the necessary documents to open the cause for his beatification. He was a great witness to the Christian faith during the spirit of persecution in Japan. We could even say in the history of Christianity in Japan. First, he clung to his faith without having doubts, without being swayed by any temporary wealth. He followed Jesus Christ at all times, and he lived a Christian life according to the Gospel. Takayama was born in Osaka in 1552. His family converted to Catholicism and built the first church in Kyoto. But when Emperor Toyotomi Hideyoshi outlawed Western religion and expelled the Jesuits in 1587, Takayama's family disobeyed and remained devout to their faith. As a result, he died in 1615 in the Philippines. For Japanese bishops, the life this samurai led is an example for Catholics today. They ordered him to abandon his faith, but instead, Takayama Ukon abandoned his social life, his wealth, his land, his castle. He left behind all his properties and was even expelled. Many of his values are still valid for us all today. Currently, about half a million Japanese identify as Catholic. That's about 0.5% of the population. Jesuit missionaries were the first Christians to arrive in the 16th century to the land of the rising sun. They included well-known names like St. Francis Xavier, the patron saint of missionaries.